Hey you, I'm back with another video and I finally have my finished helmet right here of Red Ranger from Ninja Storm. Without further ado guys, let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, so here we have our fully finished Ninja Storm Red Ranger helmet. I gotta say, it was a bit of a task to get this thing finished. I wanted to do this within a week or two weeks, but I almost didn't make it because of the fact of the matter that over here we're having so much rain. It took a long time and during the rain, the wind was blowing, I had to sand and resand fill and refill and everything as you guys saw in the little time lapse of, of it, everything well almost everything that i did during the process until i got to the paint everything was so nice in fact a lot of people have asked me in the past how is it that i print these helmets what are my settings what slicing program do i use and what 3d printer am i using at this given time so what i'm going to do right now is actually go right here and you guys are gonna see a list of everything that I have, everything I use, and my settings and the slicing program that I'm currently using at this time. Which I gotta say, it's the best slicing program I have ever dealt with. Sorry, Kira, but I like some Simplify 3D. That's my jam, I, love, I like Simplify 3D. So for this particular helmet, I actually decided to put it at 0.3 layer height. This doesn't have so much detail in it that I would have to hire it. So this, at 0.3, this took about 36 hours. I printed the front half on its own from the bottom all the way, from the top all the way to the bottom. And for the back, I went from bottom to top without any supports for the back, except for around the brim line and for the top of the helmet, and for the front of the helmet, I just set it upside down and had some supports. And later on, just as you guys saw in the video, I just basically used some filler primer and some spot putty and bondo and everything just to get it as smooth as possible. And as you guys can see here, it is nice and smooth. You can't even tell that this actually was a 3D printed helmet. And also I did add some Rondo on the inside of the helmet. And also I did add some Rondo on the inside of the helmet. If you guys don't know what Rondo is, it's actually a combination of Bondo and fiberglass resin mixed together with both hardeners. And also if you guys want to know how I did this process and you're new to the channel, I will put a card right up here of all the videos, a playlist of all the videos that I've done. I would suggest going with the red Gokai Ranger helmet. That is the first video I did that actually is a three-parter to show the whole process of finishing a 3D printed Power Ranger helmet, including the visor, materials, paints that I use, and everything where you guys where you guys can get everything, where you guys can get the good price, and also where you can purchase a lot of these files. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I can't share this file because I don't know where I got it from. I've had it in my, I had it in my hard drive for a good amount of time, so I don't re even remember where I got it from. And I've checked online, I have not seen this particular file anywhere on Etsy or any other website. So I will give you guys a link to a store where you guys can get every other type of helmet. There are other modelers, plus my good friend RTJ3D. He actually does take commissions. He does have files for a lot of these helmets. I don't know if he has one for this particular helmet, but I would suggest go reach out to him on Instagram or on Facebook. I'll leave his information in the description below. That way you guys can reach out to him um, and see what you guys can work out and do everything. As you guys can see, there are no latches on this particular helmet at all. And that is only because this helmet is actually going to be using a magnet system. I decided to go with the rare super magnets, those nice little metal ones that look like buttons or kind of like batteries. So I actually put four on each side of it. That way it interlocks and it actually has a strong, strong hold. And if you guys are ever, ever wondering where to get that, also there'll be a link in the description below for that guy. So that way you guys can know where to get that. It's, and it's actually a really good price. I get them all, all the time on Amazon and I get a great price for so many magnets in one shot. I think I got a hundred for 10 bucks. You can't beat that price. Home Depot, it's like five for $4.99. So Amazon.com guys, go 
go there. Go there. Amazon.com. Trust me. You'll find a lot of good stuff there. In fact, most of the stuff I get is in the link in the description below. So thanks again, guys, for watching my newest video, and I'll see you guys next time.